Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom drawer dividers, and these are perfect for organizing your makeup drawer, but you can also make them for any other drawer as well, including your dresser. So you're just going to need a few basic items. You're going to need a pencil, something to measure with, measuring tape, you know, yard ruler, whatever. I'm also going to use a framing square just because it's really easy. You're going to need a box cutter or a utility knife, some foam board like this. It's kind of like poster board, but it's like thick and foamy. It's kind of like, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch or so. You can find that at Walmart or, you know, craft stores and whatnot. I also have two types of fabric. So I chose just this hot pink basic fabric. It was just inexpensive. You guys know me. I love pink. But choose whatever color you like, whatever color you want to see when you pull open your drawers. So one is going to be the main color of your drawers, and then one's going to be the trim. For the trim, you want to choose one that doesn't fray easily. So I chose this. Um, it's just black and white damask print but it's kind of like a vinyl sort of fabric so that won't it won't like fray it won't like get strings on the end of it so just look for something that's kind of like that um, to combine with your other fabric that's, that's going to be the main color of your drawers you're also going to need spray adhesive I got this 3m at Walmart this sounds like a commercial for Walmart or something no I promise it is not and then a hot glue gun um, the hot glue gun is optional you don't have to have it but I'll show you when we get time to using it what I'm going to be doing with it uh, but you don't it's not like an absolute must for this project Project. you can get by without it. So let's go ahead and get started. I start by measuring out the inside of my drawer. Next I grab my foam board and trace out those exact measurements of the inside of my drawer onto the piece of foam board. Now I'm measuring the inside height of my drawer but I'm going to subtract a quarter inch to allow for the foam board that's going to be lining the bottom. So the front and the back are going to be the same length as the bottom. So go ahead and trace that out on the foam board. We want the side pieces and the dividers to be a little bit shorter than the actual length, so I'm just measuring this again and I'm going to make it anywhere from a quarter inch to a third inch shorter than the actual length. I'm going to draw that out on my foam board times two since we have two sides. Now you should have the bottom, front, back, side, side traced out on your one piece of foam board. Go ahead and lay something down. I'm going to use this piece of MDF scrap and I'm going to cut on this just so I don't tear up my rug. Cut out all of the pieces that you traced on the foam board. Your dividers are going to be the same length as your sides. You just need to decide how tall you want your dividers. I want mine a little bit shorter than the side, so I'm making mine two and a half inches. Go ahead and trace and cut those out. You may need a fresh piece of foam board. I used a total of three pieces to do all three of my drawers. So right now I'm working on the vertical dividers and you can make however many of these that you want. I'm gonna make about five or six. Now with all your pieces cut out, go ahead and lay down some of your main fabric and grab the bottom piece and you're gonna cut it out where there's about an inch to two inches of overhang. Now we're gonna wrap all of the other pieces like this, the sides, the dividers, the back, the front. So go ahead and take one of the pieces, pull it right down to the edge of your fabric, flip it over, grab a pencil, and trace it out on the fabric. Open it up, trace the edge, cut out the piece of fabric you traced, and repeat with all of the other pieces. So pull the piece to the end, wrap it around, trace, and cut out your fabric, and then I like to wrap it around each piece so I know what goes with what. For trim, I'm using this damask print vinyl fabric, so I'm tracing and cutting out a two inch wide piece for each piece of foam board. You wanna make sure that they're all the right length to match up with your foam board. Now outside, I'm gonna be using my spray adhesive, so this is 3M, and all I'm gonna do is lay out my fabric. I'm gonna start with the bottom first, and I'm gonna spray that adhesive all over the bottom part of my foam board, place that down so it's sticky side down and I'm spreading out my fabric and just kind of smoothing it over the foam board. That's just a piece of MDF that I was using. Then I spray just around the edges and fold that fabric over. Spraying the corners and pressing those down and there you have the bottom piece. Now for the sides, I just hold them out, spray them really well, and place them down over the fabric. So I just press it in, roll it over, and press it down on the other side and smooth out the fabric. 
flip it over, smooth out that side. And now you're ready to add the trim. I use a piece of cardboard to help steady the trim when I'm spraying it. So then I scoot my piece of foam board to the edge, place the trim over it about one inch approximately, and press down. Watch out, that spray adhesive is really sticky stuff. That's why I only wear one glove, because I need my other hand to be able to feel around the fabric without getting stuck to it. So I just flip it over and roll that piece of trim onto the other side, smoothing as I go. Now I just repeat this process for all of the pieces of foam board. If you have any excess fabric or strings hanging over the edges, go ahead and trim those off now. Now it's time to put our liners in place. Let's hope everything fits. So I'm placing the bottom in first, and then the back, the front, and the sides. Perfect, it should be a nice snug fit. And then I'm using this little wooden cuticle stick just to kind of smooth out any of the corners. Now it's time to place the dividers. You can put these wherever you want. They should be able to slip right in, a nice snug fit. I'm just gonna place them like this for now. My big drawer was done, but I still had one small one to go, so I went ahead and cut out all the pieces and wrap them as I showed. You can do the same method with any size drawer. So I'm placing the bottom in, the sides, the front and the back, and then the dividers. Now your vertical dividers are all done and you can leave your drawers like that or you can add horizontal dividers. But you can't just slip them in like this because they won't stay up on their own. So you can see even when it's braced from the side it's still going to knock over really easily. So the first step is just decide where you want your horizontal dividers. You might want them on the corners, you might want them in the center. So I'm going to do mine in the center. This is where you're going to want to use a hot glue gun, preferably a high temperature hot glue gun. It's going to really hold these half dividers down. So right now I'm just marking out on my long full length divider where I want to place my little short half dividers, just so they'll be approximately even. So they're basically going to be just like that. So I'm using my high temperature hot glue gun and I'm just going to apply that to the ends and just place it and press down. I'm just gonna hold it in place while the glue is hardening and drying. And then repeat on the second piece. Now you don't have to do two pieces. You can make these however big or small you want, um, just depending on what kind of space you need. And so I'm just gonna press that down. And now you should be left with a half grid. So it should look something like this. Now when designing your dividers, you just wanna make sure that they're braced. So you can see it needs a brace there or this way, you would need one there, just so it locks it in place. So I'm gonna be finishing up my grid by adding the last two pieces. So I'm just gonna place that on, and then repeat on the other side. Press it into place. Now my grid is dry enough to place into the drawer. So it could go this way, or this way. I think I'm going to place it in like that. So I just want to place it in there carefully because that glue might still be a little bit wet. So don't forget, you are the designer and you can make your dividers however you want to work for you. So you can make a large space here or over on that side. As long as you have a cross grid to brace them into place, then you're good. So there you guys go. That is how I made my drawer dividers, drawer organizers. And the best part is, is you can change these out. So it's not permanent in your drawer. You can pull these out. If you get tired of the color, you can recover them and make them some other color. Like who knows, maybe sometime I'll want them silver and minty aqua or cream and minty aqua. Or you could do like a fancy kind of jewelry drawer and do it like a cream velvet or a black velvet or something. You can really just play around with it and just have fun and just make it your own. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see See you in the next video. Bye.